All right, so today we are going to be doing a roasted rabbit and then we're doing some roasted vegetables on the side as well. So here you can see that we have a whole rabbit. The inside has been cleaned out. It's been padded dry. And at this point, that is all we've done. Next, what I'm gonna do is just take a quarter of a yellow onion, break it up a little bit, and kind of tuck that in the body cavity. And then we're going to stick some rosemary in there as well. Now, rabbit is incredibly lean. So when we cook it, we want to make sure that we're using a lot of liquid and a lot of extra fat. So to that, we're going to add some butter that I made. This butter is basically just butter, chives, garlic, and um, a little bit of Italian spice. But then we're going to take this and coat the outside of this rabbit and get a nice thick coating on it. It's not going to stick super well, but we want to make sure that we're getting something on the outside of this. We're going to coat both sides and then I'm going to put it in a glass roasting pan here and then we'll take our next steps. Okay. So now you can see we've got our rabbit ready. I had a little bit of trouble getting the butter to stick. So what I ended up doing is I just took some, coated the bottom of the pan, took the rest of it, laid it on top, and as that cooks, it's gonna melt down. And we're gonna be doing a little bit with it anyway. So I think that this should get us what we need. Next thing we're gonna do, like I said, we're doing some roasted veggies. Here I just have some potatoes, some um, what do I have in here? <laughs> some potatoes, some rutabaga, some carrots, and parsnips. That's the word I'm looking for. And so I just got these all cubed up fairly big. I'm going to take and drizzle some olive oil on top. And then... I'm going to add a little bit of salt. A little bit of oregano, something like pepper is good here too. Now I have the oven preheated to 325 and I'm just going to pop both of these in. We're going to set a timer for 15 minutes at which point we're going to take the rabbit out, do a little bit, but the Vegetables are going to stay in and we're going to keep them cooking for quite a while. Okay, so shortly after I put this in, I decided I was going to make some Brussels sprouts as well. I basically just cut the stems off, cut them in half, and did the same thing I did with the vegetables and popped them in the oven. So that's the only change we've made so far. Now we've got 15 minutes on this. We're going to take some of this melted butter. Just baste it back over top. And then we're actually going to take and flip. Be a little bit challenging with the size dish that we have here, but there we go. Flip it, and then again, get some of our butter. Drip that on top. Next, we're going to take a lemon. Just gonna roll it a second to get the little, little bit of the juices flowing. Oh, I need to sharpen my knife. And then I'm just gonna use the top of a cocktail strainer so I don't get any seeds. And I'm just gonna squeeze the juice from half of a lemon onto the top and then I'm going to add 
a little bit of broth. Here I'm using mushroom broth, um, any kind of broth, vegetable broth, chicken broth, whatever you prefer is gonna work just fine. You could also use a little bit of white wine. I'm electing to use broth at the moment because we're gonna, after we're done with the rabbit cooking in it, we're gonna take the juices and make a gravy out of it. So broth is gonna be a little bit nicer for that. So we're gonna now at this point cover with tin foil. And then we're gonna pop it back in the oven and every 15 minutes we're gonna continue to pull it out, flip it over, and then again base some of the juices and make sure that we're just getting all of it covered and moist and cooked. Okay, so at this point, we have been cooking for an hour and 15 minutes. We had that original 15 minutes where we just let it cook, and then we, after that 15 minutes was up, we flipped it, we covered it with tin foil, and then we continued to flip and baste it every 15 minutes after that. So we're at an hour and 15 minutes total. At this point, we're gonna pull it out Uncover it, base it again, crank the oven up to 425, and then we're gonna cook for an additional 15 minutes at that 425. We wanna be careful here because we're uncovering it, we've got a lot higher heat, so we wanna check it every once in a while and continue to base it just so we don't bake all the moisture out and make it dry. So again, pop it back in the oven for about 15 minutes here at 425 degrees. So apparently I did not record what I did earlier when I intended to. But when I had about 10 minutes left on the rabbit and the vegetables I started on my gravy. For the gravy I just used the remainder of the broth that I did not put in with the rabbit to cook. I got that heated up over a medium high heat and then I had a separate cup with warm water and cornstarch. You can also use flour. This is basically just going to be a thickening agent. But the reason we mix it together in a cup of warm water separately is that it tends to have a better consistency when you make the gravy. You could easily just put about a tablespoon of cornstarch or flour in here but it tends to clump together so you have gravy with just clumps in it and it doesn't mix very nice whereas if you add it slowly and mix it in as you add the cornstarch mixture you end up with a lot smoother uh, nicer consistency gravy so we're gonna cook this when the rabbit comes out we will take the rabbit we'll put it on a cutting board let it rest and come to temperature a little bit and we'll take the remaining juices from that dish, add it to here as well, and then just continue to cook it down until it thickens up a little bit and we get a nice consistency. So we're essentially ready. I've got the rabbit just cooling down a little bit. We've got our roasted veggies here looking real good. Um, the exception is I've never cooked Brussels sprouts before. Those are not looking quite so good. I think, if I would have prepped them up and cooked them for just the last 15 minutes, that probably would have been more than enough. So I guess a uh, little bit of a learning experience there, but again, we're basically done. I'm just waiting for the gravy to thicken a little bit. And there you have it.